I'm your host on Megan's vs. Wild. <coughs> and that's my co-host, Delaney. Hey, put it back. Okay, so, last week you saw me battle the monstrous, terrifying... It was a shrub. A shrub. Anyways, this week on Megan vs. Wild, you see me exploring the wonderful mysteries of African elephants. Let's check it out. Delaney and I discovered all these African elephants roaming around the deserts of Africa. These ones are different from their sister Asian elephants. Here are the elephants playing. Let's get back to the serious stuff though. Here's the information that Delaney and I found out on our safari. They live in places such as deserts, forests, and woodlands. The African elephant actually lives all around the continent of Africa. Right here I'm watching them use their trunks to grab the leaves off of nearby trees for food. These primary consumers only need to worry about tigers attacking them or the occasional human with a crossbow. Also from my observations, I found out that African male elephants grow up to be about 13 feet tall while females stay at a mere 9 feet. But don't worry, African elephants are the largest dwelling land animals on earth, so whatever size you are, you're still going to be very intimidating. African elephants have very huge ears shaped like Africa. They also have very large eyes, tusks, mouth, and trunk. They have five toes and nails on their front feet, five toes but only three nails on hind feet. They have gray wrinkled skin and they have four foot long tails. African elephants can live up to 70 years. That's a really long time. These animals like to travel with their families in herds, marching in lines to go find the nearest vegetation to eat. They eat over 1,000 pounds a day. Let's watch as our animals walk through the deserts to go find more food. Once the male and females reach the ages of 10 to 13, they start the mating process and begin wooing the female. There's no need to see that. Let's take a closer look at our species. Uh, well, that's awkward. Sorry, folks, we're having some technical difficulties, so please stay tuned. No, I will not, because poaching is wrong. It is illegal. Almost 100,000 elephants are killed every year for their meat and ivory from their tusks. No wonder why their tusks are getting shorter, because of you people. And along with climate change, the elephants have enough problems, so please stop illegally poaching them. Save the elephants. Soon enough, the elephants will lose their tusks altogether in the future because when they are killed, the breeding patterns change. Without the biggest males for competition, the smaller males with their smaller tusks breed more successfully, so their offspring will have smaller tusks, and that's it. How bad is that? Sorry for the interruption, everyone, but everything's good now. Now back to the show. While we were gone, we found an amazing discovery that elephants use their tusks to do many things. Watch as the African elephant uses its tusks to dig into the hill to get fruit. Get out of this shot, Delaney! Oh, what am I even filming? The taxonomy for African elephants are Kingdom, Animalia, Phylum, Chordata, Class, Mammalia, I think, Order, Proboscidae, Family, Elephantidae, Genus Loxodonta, species Africana, and subspecies Cytoclotus and Africana. With the humans taking over almost every landmass ever, the African elephants are finding it hard to find places to live and it's really threatening them. Their habitats protect them, provide food, and shelter. And so, it, like this water hole, it's running out. 
Natural selection is occurring. Delaney and I researched a few examples for you guys. Overproduction, inherited variation, the tusk issue. The struggles to survive are becoming real, and also, as a good thing, successful reproduction helps. Now it's fun with food chain time! Right here we have a food chain representing the African elephant's tropical niche. In this food chain you'll see that the sun provides energy to make the leaves that the elephants eat. And then sometimes tigers come along and to eat the, the tiger you know, the elephants, obviously. And then humans eat the tigers, but humans can also eat elephants. What are we doing? All of these things are showing people exactly how we're affecting African elephant evolution. Elephants remember everything. Would you want them to remember this? Thanks everyone. Tune in next week to catch the latest episode of Megan vs. Wild. Special thanks to our sponsors, Wikipedia, Defenders.org, Scribble.com, and everything else.